Hey y'all, so don't mind the lightning. I just got back from Wally World, my second home. But I just want to give y'all a quick word um before I left and went to Walmart. Um, well, first of all, let me tell y'all what's been going on. So recently, uh, I have been seeking God, seeking God, waking up every morning, just seeking God, seeking God, seeking God. Not even just in the morning, like, but throughout the day, like trying to take notice of his voice and what he's doing and stuff like that. And as I've been seeking God, as I've been um, being obedient to Christ, he has revealed mm, excuse me, a lot to me. So um, today, I was on the call this morning. It's like a conference call. Uh, and I was on the call this morning just seeking God. You know, all my brothers and sisters, us just worshiping together. And um, joy. Joy, joy, joy. But uh, I've been seeing the word joy a lot. Like, even in my Bible plan that I'm doing, I keep seeing the word joy. But this is what I want to say to y'all. Um, expect what you prayed for. For in Romans 8.18, it states that, we should not compare our present sufferings with the goodness and glory of God that's coming. This means that we do not have to sink and worry about our problems because the blessings of the Lord is here and his coming is near. I said near. No, the blessings of the Lord is here and his coming is near. As it also states in Romans 12, 12, that we need to be confident in hope. Who is, who is our hope? Our hope is God. So we need to be confident in our hope. Our hope is Christ. We need to be patient in our troubles and afflictions. And last but not least, we need to continually pray. That's what Romans 12, 12 is saying. Um, yes, Elohim. Yes. So, yes, God. Um, he's basically telling us to be patient in our troubles because he sees us. He hears us. He understands everything that we're going through. He, un he understands the pains, the struggles, the hardships, the trials, the temptations. So, he's saying not give up. He said keep praying and keep on seeking him keep crying out to him well cry out to god cry cry if you need to let it all out we keep so many things barred in we hold so many burdens that god did not even intend for us to hold so what i'm telling you right now in this video is that whatever you have prayed for expect it expect it and also i want to say you have to make sure that you're being obedient to god because you cannot expect to pray for something and then be disobeying god and i had to learn that you cannot be expecting to pray for something and pray for something but you're disobeying god but when god sees your obedience when he sees your faithfulness towards towards him he's going to reward those who digitally who dil diligently seek him so yeah i'm sorry y'all but um yes like i just came to tell you keep on going keep on praying pray without season never stop praying never stop getting down on your knees and worshiping god because the best place to be is in god's presence y'all especially in times like this but i just wanted to tell y'all that um we have a big god a great god and everything that you're suffering everything that you're feeling right now everything that you had to walk away from because maybe the time is not right maybe because you had to let it go maybe because god said he got something better whatever you had to do just remember that God hears your prayers and he's going to bless you. But remember that your obedience is required. How do you want God to take you higher, but you don't want to be obedient? So y'all, please remember that we have to be obedient if we want to go higher in Christ. We have to be obedient. Whatever, wherever he wants us to go, we have to go without hesitation. Wherever he wants, wherever he wants us to go and we don't understand, we have to go anyway, okay? Go anyway. Just how Abraham trusted God. Abraham, he was he was in his place, but guess what? He had to leave his whole hometown. I'm pretty sure that was uncomfortable for Abraham, but guess what? He trusted God. So when God said, "Hey, pack all this stuff and come with me." Abraham did because why? He trusted God. Because God is faithful to keep his promises. He's a faithful covenant keeper. And I want y'all to know that. I want y'all to know that. And remember that the joy of the Lord is your strength. You can rejoice now. You can clap. You can laugh. You can praise God now. Not when you get the blessing, but now. Praise him when you get the blessing, but praise him now. Praise him in advance. Because the blessing is not near. It's here. It's already here. So thank God right now. Because mm -mm -mm, God is good. But I also just want to um, end this off by saying... Pray bigger and expect to receive what you ask from God. Yes, our hope will not be cut off. Our hope will not be cut off. Whatever you pray for, whether you pray for divinely connections, whether it be friends, relationships, a spouse, um, whether it be um, fi finances, that your finances increase, whether it be more focus in school, more focus in college, um, whether it be um, 
scholarship money to go to your favorite college no matter what you pray for remember have faith and remember 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 that you're going to get which for what you ask for of course if it's in his will but i'm just saying expect expect to whatever expect whatever you pray for expect whatever you pray for expect for god to release something unto you respect i said respect it yes respect it but um expect it as well and so i just want to say um yeah expect it because god is good but remember that your obedience is required and yes it's hard it's so hard but your obedience is required. He's good. He's faithful. He's Elohim. He's Emmanuel. He's with us, and that's enough. And God will never, ever lead us astray. He's never going to lead us to a place that will make us, like, walk off the path that he wants us on. So, yes, that path may be uncomfortable, but that path is of God. And as long as you're walking in the will of God, you're straight. You're good. So, y'all, I just want to say, um, remember to expect what you ask, okay? Expect expect for God to give you what you ask for, okay? Have faith and don't doubt him. Don't doubt him because how do you expect to receive what you ask for if you don't doubt? Remember who God is. Remember who you are in Christ and remember who what God you serve. So, yeah. Y'all, I don't know why. Like, I'm just, I guess I'm talking too fast. I don't know. But I just wanted to release this word to y'all and I 